Oh, you're very welcome to Bielsma Cottage. Today I went to Strand Hill, which is the nearest point to me to access the Atlantic Ocean, and it was just lovely. Um, my daughter wanted a lift into Sligo, and she decided to take me for breakfast at Strand Hill. There's some lovely little cafes along there, and it was just beautiful, really lovely. So fortunate to live here in Ireland because wherever you are in Ireland, you have a very close access to the ocean or the Irish Sea. But yes, it was just lovely. Lovely little break. So there's a few different little bits and pieces on this video that I want to talk about. And um, the first one is to do with the coming celebrations. For me, it's the midwinter feast and Yule. Um, and for people I know, it's Christmas and all the beautiful festivities that take place there. They're in, you know, it's just, it, it is a very special time of the year, regardless of how you look at it. It's something about you know going into the darkness. You know you're going you're going down. You're sort of descending as the days grow shorter, and the nights grow colder and longer. You're making this descent into a very quiet, very slow time of year. Now, of course, I decorate. I have grandchildren who love to see lights and decorations. Although I have to say, most of my lights are little battery operated LED lights. But what I've been doing over the past couple of days is clearing up. So I'll talk about that in a moment. I've also been um, adding another bamboo blind here to this little bedroom at the back of the cottage. I love these blinds because they give privacy during the day and um, because they fall on on the, the inside um, of the room rather than on the inside of the window, I'm able to use that beautiful windowsill space to put things on. So deciding to do a little bit of decoration, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that done before the celebrations kick off but I will have a go at at least painting one of the walls and I've got some beautiful paint um, which is like a lovely earthy warm colour a bit like that cushion there on my bed. Now you can see through my bedroom window where the new goddess is and that's Demeter because she is holding the horn of plenty. So, it's still quite um, Samhain inspired because, of course, this is the month of Samhain. So the cottage still has pumpkins and the decoration in the front room, the sitting room. And you can see the view from the kitchen window. Everything is becoming more bare, transparent outside. So, as we walk through the woodland, I'm going to talk you through what I'm going to be doing down on the roadside verge. I've got quite a long road frontage and I've been doing all the cutting back and tidying up down there. I was down there yesterday doing that. And what I've decided to do in order to give it a very festive appearance, because I've got lots of little trees planted along there and lots of little shrubs I'm going to get, because I know there are, in my attic, several boxes of baubles. Um, so I'm going to get those out. I'm going to get some little hooks for them. And I'm going to hang them on the trees. So there won't be lights down on the roadside verge, but there will be lots and lots of colourful baubles. And just make it as festive looking as I can. Because... 
it does cheer people up. It cheers me up. And especially children. You know, children do get excited at this time of the year. Even if it's just thinking in terms of the toys they're going to get at Christmas. But I think it goes deeper than that, don't you? I think it's something to do with going into the dark and illuminating the dark like we do at this time of year. So I think there's not a better time to decorate, to hang baubles, to inspire others to relish this time of year. I absolutely love as the darkness descends and the lights go on, candles are lit. There may not be a lot of lights this year, especially in Europe and in the UK because of the high cost of electricity. I'm very aware of that. But it's like these beautiful long streams of of ivy that are hanging up. It's not difficult to bring greenery from the outside in. And even if you're living in the city, I, I'd lived in London for a long, long time. And I used to go to the parks and the little wastelands and um, woodlands, because there's so many of those in London, and collect up greenery sometimes a little bit of um, misappropriation from people's gardens. But, you know, things that hung over the walls, which, um, if they're on the public side, I think it's fair game to snap a little bit off and take it home with you. So, yes, a time of joyous celebration, a time of looking forward it's like here in the fairy wood. I'm going along this path and I'm ascending. I'm going up along the bank and towards the light. And this is what happens after the solstice. We begin that beautiful ascent towards the light. And it goes so quickly, you know, before you know it. Imac is here. The first day of spring in the west of Ireland, which is the first day of February. And there's real rejoicing in the air. It's quite tangible. You can feel it. It's lovely. So make the most of these days. They are beautiful days. They are cosy and up days. So I managed to get all those little baubles down from the loft. Well, not all of them, actually, some of them. And I've started to decorate the little birch tree by the side of the cottage and then I went down onto the road frontage and I started to hang them and I just think they look lovely it's just such a beautiful sight it's so festive without you know sucking up any of the resources any of the earth's resources they were there and it's just a matter of hanging them up. Are they lovely? I think they're just going to bring so much pleasure to people as they pass, of course, children. I know my own grandchildren will be very excited to see anything that glitters <laughs> in the hedgerow. So just before I came up, came back up to the cottage, I'm actually walking up now, um, I just took a final shot down along the roadside which you'll see just now. Here it comes. Oh. 
I've just come in from working down alongside the road frontage, cutting back, trimming, oh, what a lot of work I've done down there. I've been down there about two and a half hours. Anyway, the postman stopped by. I'm still, still trying to breathe here from all the exertion. The postman stopped by with yet another birthday card. Now I've got a lot of cards. And I thank you all for all the beautiful cards you've sent. And I've had a couple of gifts as well. Thank you so much. But the one thing that I want to just note, note for the record, as they say, is that so many people write to me in cards or letters or emails and they say the same thing, that when they feel depressed or sad or they're starting to give up on things, they come and watch one of my videos. And it doesn't just cheer them up, but it also invigorates them and gives them energy and hope and inspiration. Well, you know, <clears throat> for that, I say thank you. Just thank you all so much. Thank you so much. And, yeah, just thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. It pleases me so much to know that this little place here in the west of Ireland has such a positive effect on the world out there. It spurs me on. It spurs me on to plant even more and work even more and just put up so many more videos and just to share, to share everything that's here with you. So thank you. You inspire me, you see. You see how energy works? It goes round and round. Yeah. A little view of Bealton Cottage when I first bought the cottage. And this was the land looking up from the road and the land looking down from the cottage. Blessings to you all.